Abdul is an Afghan policeman who fights narcotics crimes in northern Afghanistan. But here, he's firing his weapon in St. Petersburg, Russia. It's part of a training course where Russia and Afghanistan's shared interest in countering the drugs trade come together. Today it was just initial training in firearms. We have seen that initial training should use these firearms because they give more complete information on the mistakes that can be made in shooting. Together with 20 other Afghan police officers, Abdul is here to learn more about shooting, forensic medicine and investigation techniques thanks to this counter-narcotics training project sponsored by the NATO-Russia Council, or NRC. Since 2006, Russian, Turkish and U.S. training centers have hosted and trained police officers from Afghanistan, Pakistan and Central Asia through this NRC project. These officers are professionals, but they are eager to learn new skills and methods for combating drugs. In our future work, we should perform very well, because we have learned a lot here. The teacher taught us recruitment skills which are very useful. Now, when we recruit someone new, this lesson will help us to select the best person. It was really useful. Members of the Russian Special Forces demonstrate Russian weapons, which the Afghan officers compare with what they use in Afghanistan. Currently, some of the weapons we have in Afghanistan are Russian-made Kalashnikovs. We also have Hungarian and Chinese weapons and other weapons given to us by NATO forces. We have Makarov pistols, Kalashnikov, Dragunovs. All the weapons we have here, we also have them in Afghanistan. The Afghans taking part concede they can't use all the techniques learned here for lack of equipment at home. But the project helps improve cooperation and exchange of views among nations tackling drugs trafficking, which is a major problem facing Russia and Central Asia. This summer alone, Russian drug police seized and destroyed about a ton of Afghan opiates, according to the Federal Drug Control Service. This is a real challenge for uh, Europe, but first of all for, for Russia, because Russia is one of the main corridor of narcotic traffic from Central Asia to, 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 to Europe. So, uh, and uh, it is perceived by Russian elites and by Russian population as, a, as one of the main challenges to Russian security. In the first six years since the project was launched, over 120 training courses have taken place in Russia, Turkey and the United States as well as in Afghanistan, Pakistan and Central Asian countries. Some 3,000 officers have been trained under the initiative to date, and they have passed on the skills learned to many more. Once back in Afghanistan, Abdul and the others will train their teams in turn. This is a NATO Channel report.